I want to challenge myself. I want to know if I could finish an entire realistic portrait within just one day. And the best way to do that is to use charcoal pencils. And uh, here I'm using the General's charcoal pencils, both uh, the black and the white charcoal. And uh, this is the quickest medium to use if I want to do something challenging because realistic portrait is not easy to do and it requires time but uh, with charcoal pencils i know that i can make it quick and with the help of this paper the canson mitientes flannel gray uh, this would make the portrait even quicker because uh, the challenge is just within one day i should finish this reference photo because i don't want to miss the, the trend so let's do this let's make realistic portrait within one day it would usually take me about at least five days to finish an entire realistic portrait but in my style which is realism uh, time is really important but there are other art styles that you can try if you want something quicker or faster to do and those styles are sometimes looser and there are some mediums that would require less time like watercolor or other liquid mediums but i focus on pencil mediums and the only pencil that i can see uh, that you can use quicker this is it. This is the General's Charcoal Pencils. I don't recommend any other charcoal pencils but General's if you want to make it a little bit quicker. But this time, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot quicker because I'm going to force myself to finish this portrait within one day. And uh, it requires uh, lots of hours. And, um, and uh, it, uh, sh I should not be lazy when I do this because I want to challenge myself to finish this portrait and uh, without sacrificing the quality, without sacrificing the realism. I don't want to be loose. I want it to be still realistic even if I'm forcing myself to squeeze my, the time to finish this portrait within a day. So here I am. I am um, uh, doing uh, really nice right here. You can't go wrong with this pencil. So if you haven't tried General's Charcoal Pencils, you should... Uh, get this one uh, this pencil I'm gonna show you the pencil the, the grade of the pencil that I will use but this time I'm here at the sketching part or the blocking in of shadow part this is the part where I want to sketch the entire figure I want to, to see the entire shape of, of the face and everything already even if I'm, I'm using just one pencil this is the 2b of the generous charcoal pencil and uh, I like the 2b because uh, it's between the hard and the dark pencil i don't want to use too dark and too hard pencil for this because this is just the sketching part and um, sometimes darker pencils tend to be not very realistic uh, when it comes to the sketching and the blocking in of the shadow and uh, i don't want to be doing to, to be using uh, too much dark pencil at this stage because i just am uh, i'm just uh, you know trying to uh, just draw and to block in the shadows so uh, this is still the 2B of the General's Charcoal. As you can see here, I'm uh, taking my time even if uh, it is a bit of a time pressure because, uh, it, well, on a normal day, I, I, I wouldn't be able to finish, even if I'm using charcoal pencils, uh, an entire portrait within one day. It would at least require, uh, well, if you're too lazy like me, about five days maybe. And uh, maybe three days if uh, I'm very inspired. Okay, so this is still the blocking in of the shadow. Uh, as you can see, I'm using the gray tone paper of Canso Mitientes. This is the flannel gray. Um, I'm using this technique is uh, what I call the additive technique because uh, we add everything. We add darker shadows. We already have the mid-tone as provided by the paper itself. The paper is like already toned. It, it's already like you have put uh, like an HB already on the paper that serves as the, the, the mid-tone of the drawing. So now I'm adding the darker tones, the darkest tones, and what's great about this is you can add the highlights. That the, Adding the highlights is something that I love because uh, it makes the drawing a little bit more realistic and it I, I can see if you see the lighting effect, the drama effect of the light that you can put, uh, especially with this kind of reference where the contrast is really high. The relationship between the dark shadows and the light shadow is very intense. So um, that's why I decided to use charcoal pencils and white charcoal as well. Because uh, I, I did this, as you can see here, uh, I don't want to, um, I, I don't want to spend a lot of time with the background. So I use this uh, sponge. What's this? This is the sponge applicator of the pan pastel. What I do is, uh, as you saw. A while ago, I, I just used the, 
the the graphite uh, rather the charcoal powder from the 2B when I when I uh, sharpen the 2B the powder I use it for the background as you can see the background is not very dark because it is a 2B so um, and that is what uh, I see on the reference photo it's not really dark and that as you can see when I use that tool everything becomes really fast I was able to cover the entire background already just using the extra powder from the the powder of the 2B when I shave or when I um, what do you call the sharpen so here I just uh, you can see how easily it is to blend by using just soft brushes. I, I use two kind of brushes. Here is the, the smaller brush and the other one is the bigger brush. If, you, if I want something, I use the bigger brush if I don't want to fully blend the skin tone. And here, the, the smaller brush if I want to make an intense, well-blended shadow right here, right here in Concentrated. And to even out the, the blending, I use the, the bigger brush also. So as you can see here, it's very, very easy to blend the generals. I don't really have a hard time to blend it. It's really um, if you want something smooth you can just blend it out so I'm using uh, this uh, kneaded eraser also to pick up some of the details and the highlights and here in the in the hair you can see by just using brush you can just uh, blend everything together now I'm uh, gonna uh, what do you call this to fasten the video a little bit so that we don't uh, spend a lot of time and uh, I've, I've spent a couple of hours at this stage now this is my favorite part this is what i call the additive part of the drawing we add our highlights we were not dependent with the uh, the whiteness of the paper because what we are using is uh, toned paper where it provides us with a very nice mid-tone what that if you want to do something quick you really need a toned paper so uh, now i'm adding the highlights um and the highlights are very intense that's why it's very um, nice to use white charcoal like here you can use it very detailed like what I'm doing with the freckles I, I go around the freckles to make it um, more intense in the drawing and now I'm um, I'm using different pressure here and if I want something really white I just uh, add more pressure if I want something very light like on some part of the skin tone I just lessen the pressure so it's already been uh, five hours up to this stage but uh, I had to take breaks and now I'm gonna define darker shadows using darker uh, pencil and uh, now I'm gonna be using the 4B here to define darker shadows because uh, the, the shadow of this portrait is very intense in some parts like uh, concentrated the shadow is concentrated on the left side of the face right here and the right side of the face the, it's more of the highlights so uh, that is the kind of contrast with this drawing very intense contrast and you can easily achieve that with charcoal pencils specifically this general's charcoal pencil so this is the white and uh, this is the 4B you can see how different how darker the the the, the value of this 4B compared to the 2B and this is what makes our drawing more realistic because uh, we are using darker values or drawing darker values here using the 4B and uh, it's even softer compared to the 2B as you can see here you by just using brush very quickly you can finish the hair you can cover the entire hair with just uh, a couple of strokes with this charcoal pencil the 4B and now the process is just uh, applying and then erasing and then blending you just continue those three applying the, the pencil um, blending the plans pencil and then erasing until you are satisfied with the with the kind of um, shadow that you created and uh, the, the, the details and the highlights also so using the white here I'm gonna put the intense highlights the watery intense highlights around the eyes to make it to make the eyes because the hair stare is really intense so you want to capture the intensity of that stare of that emotion that is what's great about using white and black charcoal uh, if you are drawing something like this where the, the emotion is very intense you can easily capture that using this medium and uh, if you are a graphite pencil uh, medium and you if you want to try something new even if you are a colored pencil artist if you want to try something new like this one as you can see i was able to finish it for just within a day um less than 10 hours i was able to finish this portrait and i'm so happy because uh it doesn't require much time to do this kind of portrait 